All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahava Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. And I want to say to Wadi Yahabai Shem Yahabashai for allowing me to be able to minister to the hopeful elect. It's going to be a quickie, but Lord Wind, it's going to be edifying. All right. Because what are we waiting for? Salvation. They are like their minds are out of this world. The scripture says we're in the, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. So we still have to operate. Okay. But what are we thinking about? A heavenly kingdom. Well, everybody here, most people, I've got to stop saying that. Well, most people here are thinking about their hair and now. What they have hair and now. Okay. So we're going to start off with. Excuse me just a minute. Check this out. First Corinthians 16 and 15. Now this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high. Right? So we can't. This flesh cannot go into the kingdom. That's why the elect are going to be changed. It cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Right? And these corruptible bodies, how can a corruptible body inherit something that's incorrupt, pure, perfect? Because something that's corrupt, it decays. Everything here that an individual has, it decays. Right? That's why you always need to buy another one. Whatever it is. And that's the way Esau designs his stuff anyway. So it messes up within two, three years and you have to buy another one. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Verse 51, but I show you a mystery, right? We shall not all sleep, not all the elect are going to pass, and we shall all be changed, right? All, even the wicked of our people, even they're going to be changed, but they're going to have to what? Get taken out on this side because they don't want to he take heed to this word. Verse 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpets shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Right? And that's when your house shall go on. Crack through them clouds. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. Right? Immortal. We're going to be immortal living forever. And that's what you should want. Anyone would want that. Someone with a high level um, mindset would want that. To live forever. But you ask our people, they just they're content here with the way things are. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, this mortal shall have put on immortality. Right? The new bodies then shall be brought to pass. The saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh death, where is thy sting? In grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. Right? But thanks be to the most high which giver. Which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jehovah Mashiach. Right? So the elect already have the victory. Always keep that in mind. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord Jehovah For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord Jehovah Now we went to that. Let's go to Romans 8. Alright. And 17. And if children, then hairs, hairs of the most high. Hairs is what? Second to what's second to a king? Prince. Right? So under you have a show, we're going to be what? Joint hairs. With Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him. And that's what we're doing right now. Right? Suffering with you have a show. Okay? Being ridiculed. Being mocked. Right? Because that's what Yahabasha had to go through. Okay? That we may also be glorified together right and it's not it's not everyone that's doing that it's just the scoffers but i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory 
which shall be revealed in us. Okay, them sufferings, they, you can't even compare it to the glory that's going to be revealed into with the elect, which shall be revealed in us. Different bodies, everything taller. Okay, for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. That's our earnest expectation. That's hope. I'm waiting for that new manifestation. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who was subject to him, the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. So we're going to be delivered from what bondage of corruption into glorious liberty. This shows you everything here is corrupted. Even Solomon said that. He said, he took a look at all his labor, everything underneath the sun, and he said, it was all vanity. And it is. And again, in this truth, do we, do we take delight in certain things here? Yeah, of course, that's natural. But our main focus is on the kingdom. So with this, I really hope this was edifying. I really hope this has pumped up your spirit. And until the next time, shout out.